My name is Marco met de K. I make snacks and videos in my free time because I don't have time to learn. Marco met de K started when I was 16. I was uh, punished by my dad and I had to go work in my dad's tire shop for the weekend. So I asked my brother to film me doing some weird stuff, popping out of tires and making a funny noise. And I cut the video into a seven second video, sent it to a meme page on Facebook and the video just went viral from there. People started messaging me, asking me to open my own page and I did it and within Two weeks from there, I hit 20,000 followers, and from there, it just became Marco Metzikar. Marco Metzikar went really, really big, really, really fast. Um, I started opening for comedians. I got a, a sponsor from Adidas sent, sending me clothes and paying me good money. I got sponsored by other car dealerships. Cars.co.ca would have given me my own Audi A4, but they soon found out I was smoking weed and they said they don't want to be associated with somebody that's abusing drugs. Everything just went down as soon as South Africa found out I was smoking. The result was very negative when people found out. As soon as people started seeing I'm not in school anymore because I got expelled in 11th grade, as soon as people saw I was just blowing at my home every single day, smoking a big amount of weed, doing a big amount of shrooms, doing a lot of psychedelics, drinking a lot, partying a lot. It was Marco Mitiko, the guy that can smoke 15 joints in a day, or it was Marco Mitiko partying a lot, Marco Mitiko vomiting at Presley's. That was the Marco Mitiko I turned into. What led me to, to use drugs was uh, the loss of my mother. I was 13 years old when my mom passed away. My brother was 11 years old. It was really hectic. Uh, my brother was asleep when it all happened. I watched it happen. My dad woke my brother up <coughs> and told us our mom's no longer with us. She was really sick. And from that day, our lives completely changed. It affected my father in a, in a really bad way. It changed him completely. He started taking me out to pubs at a really young age just to keep him accountable for when he gets out of hand started uh, not being involved with me and my brother's school and yeah, it just hit him really hard. Yeah, that was, that was definitely the break point for all of us. I was a, a normal 13, 12, 11 year old, uh, doing well on school, doing sports. My brother as well, he was really, really clever. Um, after my mom passed away, everything changed. I wasn't involved in any type of sports. Uh, I, I flunked every, every semester. It was real bad, we didn't inv get involved in any activities at school and just started bunking school every day. But the first time I smoked weed was with my cousin at a family reunion that was meant for my mom. I was really depressed that, that year and the weekend being all about my mom just made it worse. So I saw my cousin sitting at, the, at his front door smoking a joint and I asked if I could join. After I smoked the joint, uh, yo, I was, a, I was a really small guy, so the weed took effect of my body real quick. So I went to my room and I laid on my bed and I felt like, yo, I like this feeling. I like the taste, I like the zooming in my head, I like the colors I'm seeing now. And from that day, I haven't skipped a day since until I got to redemption. The point in my life where it got so bad that I need to smoke weed before I go to bed was about at 15, about a year after. That's where I had to smoke at least four or five times a day to end my day. The first time I ate shrooms was, was when I was about 16 years old at the time of Marco Metoko. And the place I went where shrooms took me was this whole other universe. So Marco Metoko was a whole different person from Marco. Marco was, was a guy that wasn't doing well in school, wasn't doing well in life in general, wasn't doing well with his relationship with his dad or with his girlfriend or with his brother. Marco just fell out of, just went out of control. Marco Mitsuko on the other hand was, was the person I pretended to be to feel better. I, I loved giving other people the advice I knew I, I had to follow, but I still didn't follow it. I just loved giving the people the advice and seeing their lives change. I loved putting a smile on other people's faces when they had an off day. I loved going to schools and just seeing people know me for that guy. I, I loved the idea that they didn't know the real me. I came on to a point where 
I didn't really care that people were finding out about me smoking weed. So I was posting about weed on my personal page. I also had about 10,000 followers at the time and was directly linked to Marco Meta Cars page. And people just started seeing my posts about the joints I was rolling or the shrooms I was eating or the tabs on my tongue. It just, it just got out of hand really, really quick and I wasn't paying attention on what I was doing. So Marco Meta Car went really, really big, really, really fast. I got a, a sponsor from Adidas, Cars.co.co today would have given me my own Audi A4 and they said that I want to be associated with somebody that's abusing drugs. The result was very negative when people found out, but it felt positive. As soon as people found out, um, they started messaging me. I got, I got messaged by a lot of hot chicks and a lot of cool guys. A lot of people that's real smokers and real drug users. And I felt cool because now I'm fitting in. Nobody actually realized the damage weed does in our life. So yeah, I never, I never realized what I was doing. I wasn't aware of where my life led to. I wasn't aware of where my life was leading to. I wasn't aware of the amount of hurts I was giving my dad. I wasn't aware of anything that's going on. I was just enjoying my day every single day, starting my day, smoking my day away, and going to sleep. On the way from Kempton to Hartis, that, that 45 minutes, I really thought everything through. I was incredibly high at the time um, and everything just flashed before my eyes, everything that just happened. I thought about my dad, I thought about how my mom would have felt about this. My mom would have broke. My mom would not have made this. My dad was totally broken. I was like, how did this happen? How did my life lead up to this? I have got 50,000 followers thinking I'm this influencer. I've got a job where I make lack of cash every single day. Everything just is just crashing down. I'm, I'm not understanding why this is happening because I wasn't aware of it happening. I only realized after all these years what I've done. The place God met me face to face was at redemption in the church on my third day. I just felt this emptiness inside me being filled for a moment and I started crying. The pastor came to me and he pointed at me and he said, today you're getting baptized. So I could sit in the bath. It was a really, really nice view. I looked out onto all the, the mountains and the grass and the water and the plants and I just zoned out without being high. And the pastor was talking to me, asked me my full name and asked me if I want to do the right thing now. So I said yes. I was saying, okay, I'll trust this. I was dipped into the water and I was reborn in Christ. And after I came up that day, something just changed inside me. Everything changed inside me. Everything I believed, everything I thought was right was wrong. Everything, everything changed. My whole, my whole perspective over everything I thought was cool, was sharp. Everything changed. I started getting up early and starting my day with a smile on my face while I was knowing I wasn't getting high. I don't know why, it was just this happy feeling inside of me. My dad called me uh, for the first time after the two weeks and he said he forgives me and he still loves me. And that was the biggest thing for me ever, to know that my dad just forgave me. So me and my brother got along very, very nicely at the first stage. Me and my dad were getting along, my grandmother, my aunt, everybody was getting along. I started getting healthier, I started eating more. I started working without complaining. I started praising and worshiping and that was the best, the best moment of every single week it was the Friday when we were praising and worshiping. It was just, I just changed completely. Yeah, God changed me from the inside out. I didn't have to get high to feel this way. And I loved that because I wanted to feel this lack of feeling and now I can feel it without being high without using, without hurting God, without hurting my dad, without hurting myself. So Marco Metico was, was started and I carried on with Marco Metico to, to be that guy I wanted to be. So the least I can do for the God that saved me out of where I was is to spread his name and that's what I'm going to do.